Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're going to go over automation within clips. Uh, this is a way to get a lot of awesome action and animation going on inside of an uh, otherwise boring clip. So here's our original clip. I've got, I've got three here. I'll go ahead and play all three. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. And the first one again. What clip automation allows us to do is allows us to commit different parameter changes that are recorded actually inside of the clip. So every time you play the clip, those parameter changes will happen. Um, I'll go ahead and give you an example. What I have going on right now is I've got, if you look down here, I've got all these effects in this little effect rack that I built. Okay, I'm actually going to close this just so we can focus on what's going on. So within this effect rack, uh, I've got some different effects. I'll go ahead and play them, show you a couple of them. A little sample rate, delay, some erosion, a phaser, low pass. Okay. So these are fun. It's all fine and good. It's really fun to play with these live. And I hope at this point you have some insert effects and in your tracks and maybe some master effects on your master track. Um, but let's 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 take this a step further and start recording some automation into these clips in a live setting. Okay. And so the way you do that is you make sure that your automation arm switch is thrown right here, as well as your session record button. Now. If this session record button is is clicked on, as well as your automation arm button, then any of these changes that you do will get committed to the clip. I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So here's this first beat. I've mapped this uh, session record button to this key right here. So I'm just going to turn it on. All right. So now I'm armed and I'm ready to record some automation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now you can see it, it's got a little red square, that means that it's recorded some automation. So now it's just going to loop for as long as the loop is, so I'll add some more. So now you can see we've got all kinds of weird stuff going on. And we've transformed that potentially boring part into a really animated, crazy clip. And now whenever I launch that clip, this entire series of automations are recorded into that clip. So now I can just go to my next part. Maybe I want to mess with it a little bit. And I can record a different set of automations into this clip. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn my automation, my session record button on. And now we're ready to record. All right, now I can move to my next clip. Okay, now back to my first one. Pretty awesome stuff. <laughs> so you get the idea. Um, so, so now we've got all these clips and we've got all this crazy automation on them. Well, maybe I don't want that automation and maybe I want to zero things back out. Well, as you remember before, I'm a big advocate of CliffX, which is a special uh, MIDI script that you can install into live. Um, I've got another uh, episode about CliffX in specific and, and uh, I can, I'll link to how you can install it and stuff like that. Basically, I've got all these commands that I can put into CliffX and one of them is the clip envelope clear. 
And so what I've done is uh, you just put a little identifier. It doesn't matter what it says within brackets. But as long as you have CliffX installed, you can put anything in this bracket. And then you have to delineate the track. So track one, uh, clip, envelope, clear. So any of the tracks that are selected that are playing in this track, I can actually completely delete any of the this automation envelope stuff that I have going on in this track just by hitting this this button. So in a live sense, though, it's really important to map this to a control. The only control I have available on my Novation is just an extra key, so I decided to map this B flat right here to uh, to my envelope clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this and check this out. I'll just hit this button once, and all of a sudden, now we're back to completely zeroed out. Okay. Now, if I have any knobs that are kind of all over the place like this, all right, and I launch, I'm gonna launch number two. Check out what happens. If I have any of these knobs that are kind of sitting around in different places, okay, what will happen is when I zero this out, it's gonna it's gonna look at these knobs positions and jump to those positions. So see what I'm talking about? So if you wanna zero out a command, you wanna make sure that your that your knobs are all zeroed out first. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This is a very quick lesson, but this is an amazing way to get a lot of action out of uh, otherwise maybe like boring clip that you have in your in your set. And you can do this on each track. You can delineate multiple tracks with your CliffX. So I just want you to to start to wrap your mind around this. Let's say you have drums, synths, basses, so on and so forth. You could uh, record automation into all of them, and then you could clear every single one of them on the next. Uh, session downbeat or something like that. Whatever you want to do. This is all about how you want to set up your set. And so, yeah, if you got usage out of this, uh, maybe consider uh, sending me a tip on Patreon. The link is down at the bottom. Um, I also offer one-on-one uh, -on -one training for setting up your live set. Feel free to subscribe at the bottom if this channel is helping you out. Um, thanks so much for watching, and have a great time automating your clips. Thanks.